Another important subtopic we're going to be discussing today is the microscope. And as we've earlier said before, it is important for us to know about the microscope because when we discuss cells, cells are microscopic and cannot be seen with the naked eye. So we have to employ the microscope to be able to see this, to be able to see a cell properly. So what is a microscope? The microscope is an instrument that is used in the laboratory or lab to observe tiny structures of living organisms which cannot be seen or observed by the naked eyes. Now organisms which can only be seen with the aid of a microscope are called microscopic organisms. So when we have a small organism such as a cell that we cannot properly see with our naked eyes, we now employ the, the microscope so that we can properly see all the structures because the microscope enlarges or magnifies all the structures and then makes it possible for us to see them clearly. Now, what are the types of microscopes? And there are various types of microscope, but for this lesson, we're just going to talk about five. And these are just the basic microscopes that we have. So we have the compound microscope, we have a light microscope, we have electron microscope, and then we have a hand lens. Now, the hand lens is the simplest and the most commonly used magnifier in the lab. So definitely everybody must have seen a magnifier in one way or the other. It's also called a magnifying glass. So a hand lens is also called a magnifying glass and it's very, very common. So what are the parts of a microscope? Now it's important for us to learn this part of a microscope because, because this will help us when we actually have a microscope in front of us. It can actually help us to know how to operate the microscope. So I'm just going to list the parts and after listing the parts, we're going to go ahead and make a scenario on how to use it. The parts include the play mirror. The play mirror helps to direct light rays to the object for proper lightning so that the object can be seen properly. So a plane mirror is not something that you're actually going to see very well, but it's kind of redirecting the light so that it can concentrate it so that the object can be properly seen. And the next is the base. The base, this part represents the metallic base which enables the microscope to rest properly on the table and this will prevent it from falling. So basically, the base is kind of like the stand of the microscope. So you just keep it there so that it can actually keep the microscope in place. Next is the stage. Now this part represents where the object to be examined is placed. Now as I'm saying this, just keep it in mind. We're going to create, um, as I said before, I'm going to create a scenario where you can actually see how all these components and all these parts of a microscope come together to play their important parts. So a stage is where the, the object to be examined is placed. The clips. These are tiny structures, usually metal, which help to hold the objects for proper viewing. The handle or arm, this part is used to carry the microscope. The condenser, the condenser consists of a powerful lens which condenses the light rays coming from the plane mirror and directs them to the objects under observation. The rotatory nasal piece. This part is where the objective lenses of varying magnifications are fitted. It can be rotated in order to turn on the objective lens with a better magnification. So the rotatory nasal piece usually has from three to four objective lenses. Now the nasal piece is where the objective lenses are placed. It is not the objective lens itself. So it's kind of, it can be rotated, that's why it's called rotatory. So you can rotate it so that you can choose which particular magnification you want to use because the objective lenses are really what you use to magnify an object. So when you rotate it, so that's why they call it rotatory nasal piece. So we have objective lenses on them, three to four, of different magnifications from times four times four to times hundred, and then they are placed on different positions. So when you rotate it, you choose a particular magnification of your choice. Now the eyepiece lenses, 
This pass is where the observer places his eyes when viewing the object through the microscope. So when you have a microscope, the place where you put your, put your eyes to view what is happening on the slide is what you call the eyepiece lens. The adjustment knobs. Now there are two types of adjustment knobs or they are the adjustment knobs are made up of two components. So we have the quartz adjustment knob and this is used for bringing the object into proper focus. So basically the, the quartz adjustment knob controls the stage, it helps it move upward and downward so that you can actually bring it closer to the lenses or far away from the lenses. Now the fine adjustment knob for component B and this is used to ensure a cleaner view by sharpening the focused object. So when you have brought the objects, you have, you have brought the stage close to the objective lens, you want to actually see a clearer object. And this is where you use the fine adjustment knob. So it's basically going to increase the resolution of the, of the objective lens to give you a better view. And then finally, the objective lens. And this lens, is usually placed above the object and is used for magnification. I've already explained that before, so there's no need to go back and explain it again.